All right, people, welcome back to Card Review. So today we are looking at Judgment Scales. I thought it was called Solemn Scales, but apparently they changed it to Judgment Scales, in which I like it much better as Judgment Scales, because when it was Solemn Scales, people we were like, oh, it's another Solemn card, but like, yeah, it's not a Solemn card. All right, when we mean Solemn cards, we mean these powerful counter traps where you pay life points to stop your opponent from doing plays, such as Solemn Judgment, Solemn warning and solemn scolding. So this card is not even a counter trap. You don't pay any life points, and just because that's a solemn judgment guy on the card doesn't mean that it's a solemn card. You know, saying that this is a solemn card is saying like solemn wishes is like a solemn card. You know, so absolutely no. It's just a card that just happened to have him on it. So they changed the name to Judgment Scales, and you know I'm much better at that. You know, it has nothing to do with solemn judgment. It's just Judgment Scales. Simple as that. So. Judgment Scales is a normal trap card that reads, if your opponent controls more cards than the total number of cards in your hand and your side of the field, draw cards equal to the current card def def deficit? De def oh my god, I can't say that word. Deficit. Oh my god. I was like, I was like come on, brain. You can do it. Deficit. That's, that's a big word. Like, oh shit. Oh shit. You know, they might want to go ahead and change that. <laughs> You know, maybe change it to car draw cards equal to the difference. You know, they shouldn't put a big word like that. What if, what if like, a person who's just gotten a Yu-Gi-Oh! reads that and they're just like, wait, what does that mean? I gotta bring up my dictionary and, like, oh, God. You're gonna activate one judgment scales per turn. So, uh, to break it down, pretty much, if your opponent controls more cards than cards in total that you have in your hand and on your side of the field, you play this and you just draw equal to the amount of cards that they control. So... Uh, people are talking about how good this card is, how it's going to be staple, how it's just going to be the tits, and I just don't see it, you know? It's another one of those only play it when you're losing cards, you know? If you're not losing, this card's dead, like, completely dead. Alright, so one of the cards that you could, of course, compare it to, since, you know, you're counting the cards that your opponent has, and you're counting the cards you have, is, of course, Exiton. Um, pretty much Exiton, when you're down on resources, so, you know, when the total of... Uh, number of cards in your opponent's hand and inside the field are higher than the cards in your hand inside the field Then you get to go ahead and just wipe the field except for itself A pretty 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 powerful effect and the reason why I'm saying Exiton is yay and this card is boo is because uh, Exiton's part of the toolbox guys Exiton is part of the toolbox if you don't know what the toolbox is It's your extra guy when you exceed those you all as long as you can make that exceed you will always have access to those monsters you don't have to worry about drawing into it you don't have to worry about it never getting it it will always be there in the extra you will always have access to that exiton if you can go ahead and make a ring four this on the other hand you got to draw into it you to make use of it and make sure it's not a dead draw you got to be down it's also a trap card so you're gonna have to wait, you know, you're already in a terrible situation in which your opponent Your opponent on just on their field because this card doesn't count hands like Exiton does so your opponent can have like fucking like 10 cards in their hand and like Two on the field and you can only have this you activate this you're only gonna draw up to two You know, it's just your opponent cards that they control. It's not in their hand But this card counts your hand and your side of the field, which is just like Com like you're in completely bad situation like if your opponent controls as in just their cards in the field is more than your hand and your field combined you're in some deep shit you're in some deep shit and this is a trap card so that pretty much means that you're already in some deep shit you draw into this you top deck in this okay well you're like oh yay you know my opponent has a couple cards on the field i can go ahead and draw into a new hand that's if you survive that's if you survive Keep in mind, this is cards on your hand and your side of the field. You don't got much resources. You don't you don't have much. So not only do you have to go ahead, take this card, set it, and wait for it to be active, but your opponent could just go ahead and go ham on your butt, you know? You better hope that you freaking activate this card, that they have more cards on their field than you have in your hand and your side of the field combined. And of course, when you activate this, it counts as itself. So yeah, there you go. So, <laughs> so it's just like, hey, you know. You have two cards on the field, I set this, during your turn, I activate it. It counts as itself, because it's still on the field at resolution. So, one, to your two, I'm going to draw one card. Oh my god, it's so good. Like, you know, you're still in a losing situation, you know. 
you see, so you pretty much played a card to draw a card so you evened out oh wow I, you know I, actually, at that point I'd rather activate upstart you know like I said if you're in such a dire situation hopefully what you draw off of this judgment scales is like a battle fader or like a this character or something because you're still gonna get your face punched in you know it, if it counted like cards in hand and side of the field you know both like it did for you then yeah maybe this card would be pretty good but it doesn't only your opponent's cards on the field in comparison compare and contrast to the cards in your hand and your side of the field and if you're lower you're in subdued shape, but you get to go ahead and draw equal to that amount on the field. Not the cards in hand, equal to the amount on the field. So, this card is not that good. I must say, it is not that good. I'd say the only deck that I can possibly see playing this card would be like Infernalites, because they generally just, you know, burn the shit out of their hand, and they just have all their resources and plays all in the, the, the you know, the graveyard. You know, maybe they'll have, like, uh, you know, like a set of uh, seer or something but generally you know they don't play they don't have too many cards in the hand so i can go ahead and see them playing this and you know trying to eat, draw because they would pretty much just get three draws you know they're not really in a deficit nor are they in a positive because you know they're kind of like dragon rulers where they're in the you know they banish from the graveyard to some majority of them so uh you know they'll be totally fine with uh, being deficit just to play this card in plus hopefully plus but for everybody else, I, I just don't see it. I don't know. Maybe I'm in the wrong, but I'd say it's just not worth it. It's, it's another losing card, but it's it's not one that you always have access to. You have to draw into it. You have to be in a losing situation that's, you know, good enough for you to draw multiple cards, but not so horrendous that you're going to get your face smashed in, you know? You're not going to play this to draw, like, one or two cards. No, you're gonna, you want, like... You know, three, four, five cards, you know? But can you survive a punch in the face by three or four or five monsters to even play this card, you know? Uh, it's kind of, it seems like it's a fair card. It seems like it's a pretty decent card because, you know, you're in a losing situation. Go ahead and play this. You jump back into the duel. But I just don't see how you can survive, you know? You know, if I have two level fours you know, and I can bust out the Exiton, I'm buying out the Exiton. He's going off during my turn right now unless you stop it. Exiton's going off. Judgment scales, I gotta set it. Pass to you. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna go out to Judgment scales. I'm gonna draw and hopefully I draw into something to not o only get over your field but I don't even count your hand as well and I just got punched in the face by whatever you had on the field, you know. Like, it, if you... It, if you're top decking this, it's, it's, it's like risk versus reward, you know? You take the risk and you might get a better reward because the risk is is that, you know, if you're playing cards like, you know, Battle Fader or Subscribe card along those lines, then, you know, you can go ahead and activate it earlier in the turn, draw hopefully draw into those cards and block your opponent's attack. But if you wait till the end of the turn, your, pro your opponent's probably going to you know, do more plays. They're probably going to summon more monsters to attack you with. They're probably going to set more back row during main phase too. So, you know, your judgment scale will get more bang out of the buck, but that's only if you can survive, you know? So, pretty much, if you have judgment scale set, it would be most optimal to go ahead and wait till the end phase of your opponent's turn to draw more cards. But if they summon way too many monsters and you take all that damage and that's game, then that's game, you know? There is no, like, oh, activate judgment scale, you took no damage this turn and then you draw, you know? No, there isn't, so... You know, it's risk versus rewards, and if you really want to take that risk, you know, maybe you're not even going to draw into that, you know, that uh, battle fader, that sort of scarecrow, you know, maybe he's just going to get it, and that's going to be it. So, as I said, if it counted your opponent's hand too, then yeah, I can see this card being really good, but it doesn't. It's just your opponent's field compared to your hand in field. So, that's a lot more resources to compare and contrast. Like I said, if your hand and your side of the field is more empty than just your opponent's side of the field, and not including their hand, you're in some deep shit. So hopefully you can survive long enough to pull off this card. So, like I said, I don't think it's that good. Some people are calling it a staple and stuff like that. And I don't see it. I don't see it. Maybe it's just me. So I'm going to go ahead and call that. So tell me what you guys think about judgment scales in the comment section below. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next week with some more card review. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.